day at school, son? Yeah, it was all right. Bet you were glad to get there this morning, weren't you? Why? Get away from me. You didn't deserve the ear bashing I gave you yesterday. It's OK. You're a good lad, Andy. I expect far too much of you. No, you don't. I do. And it's not fair on you. After all the things you've had to cope with, it's supposed to be my job to shield you, protect you. You can. I don't want you to. You know, I know why you got so upset, but it wasn't just about me and Robert. You know, you worried about TV tests tomorrow, are you? It's out of our hands, son. There's nothing we can do about it. I couldn't believe it when he told me. Trisha Fisher, I'm going to be a laughing stock. Well, it's not your name that's going to do that. I think I might go double barreled. Trisha Stokes Fisher or Trisha Fisher Stokes. What do you reckon? I think I've got more important things to think about, Trisha. Should we take these two to Robert? Cheese and pickle, OK? Yeah, great, thanks. <laughs> you got any crisps? Well, I might have some in the kitchen. Carry on with your tea, Robert, but there's a couple of things I need to discuss with you. What? I know you were in a bit of a state yesterday, and I was happy to give you a bed for the night, but you can't stay here indefinitely. Well, what caused you any trouble? Yeah, I know that. But what about school? I can't be responsible for keeping you away any longer. But all my stuff's at home. That's what I mean, your clothes, your books. Can you go get them for me? I think it'd be best if you went. I'll come with if you like, see if we can patch things up with your dad. I can't go home, Cathy. And if you don't want me, I've got nowhere else to go. So, have you completely washed your hands of any parental responsibility? <laughs> of course not. What are you talking about? I've got one very unhappy boy staying with me. Who? Robert. He turned up last night, really distressed, didn't know which way to turn. Well, this is the first I've heard about it. I had no idea. That just about sums it up. His own mother's the last person to know. Oh, Cathy, that's not fair. I wanted the boys to come and live with me. If something's gone wrong, then it's down to Jack. No, I'm not having that. He's at his wit's end. Jack's doing his best. Those boys need their mother, and as much as I love them, Sarah, that is not me. Well, of course it's not. So if you could just explain to me exactly what's happened, then I will do something about it. If you've not forgotten how. Oh, come on, that's cruel. If you want me to apologise, then prove me wrong. Cathy, can I have a word, please? I've only called in for a quick drink. It won't take long. We just want to ask you a favour. When me and Joe get married, um, we need a shared address. You know, so it looks like we're a proper item. <laughs> to convince the authorities. So, what's it got to do with me? Well, seeing as I live at your place now, couldn't we just pretend that Joe lives there too? <sighs> you want me to lie for you? Well, it's not really lying, is it? <laughs> yes, it is. I'm sorry, guys, nothing personal, but the answer's no. Oh, come on, Kathy, it's not like you. You've seen Robert, how unhappy he is. His family's fallen apart, and that began with lies and deception, Trish. Yeah, but that's completely different. Don't try and change my mind because you won't. I want nothing to do with it. 